Have you ever felt anxious about responsibilities or lack of motivation in your daily tasks? This is what I want to talk to you about today. In the Bible, uh, there is concept of responsibility that, or, or the concept of responsibility is deeply rooted in the principle of stewardship and integrity and community. Uh, several passages emphasize the importance of uh, taking responsibility for one action or taking responsibility for your own action, being accountable to both God and others. It, it is that important. And when we talk about stewardship and accountability, it, 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 we got to understand one thing. In the parable of the talent, in Matthew 25, verse 4, 14 to 30, we see Jesus illustrating this parable very uh, intelligent. The principle of accountability is through the story or of a servant who are in, in, instructed with different amount of money. Hmm. And the master expect them to invest and to multiply what they have been given. Wow. This parable highlight the importance of stewardship and accountability. Each servant is responsible for using the resources wisely and will be held accountable for the action. And similarly, in our lives, we have to store our gift, what is given to us, our talent and opportunity instructed to us by God, and we are responsible for how we use this to fulfill our purpose and to achieve our goal. Wow. Wow. This is so powerful because mutual responsibility in the community is also emphasized in the Bible. It's important uh, for us to be responsible with our community, when our believer, with, the, with our peers, with the people that surround us. In Genesis 6, 1 and 2, believers are encouraged to bear one, another, one another's burden and to restore those who have stumbled. Not to bring them down, but to restore them. This highlights the mutual responsibility, but responsibility that we have as a believer to, ha to support one another, to encourage one another, to hold each other accountable in the spiritual journey and personal growth. Being part of, of a supporting uh, group or a supporting community foster accountability for us and for the people that we surround ourselves with. Uh, people hold each other to their commitment to provide guidance and offer accountability to partner with each other and to stay in track to our goals. And what is our goal? First of all, is to make it to the kingdom of heaven. So I'm accountable to make sure that you make it. I'm accountable to make sure that you reach your goal. And how I do it? Well, I encourage you, I, I, I push you to understand what God is saying. It, it, um, let me tell you something, God is good. And if at this point you have found value in this topic, uh, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And thank you for being here. Okay, let's, back to, uh, let's get back to this. Our point number three. Um, just a little parenthesis there. Our point number three, responsibility to God. Throughout the Bible, there's numerous warning for people to live and honor God. Reflect his character. Proverbs 16.3 states that, state that commit everything you do to the Lord and he will establish your plan. This Bible verse highlights the ultimate responsibility that believers have before God and is to, uh, for their action and decision to be recognized and the responsibility to motivate people to align their goals and objective with God's will. 
Align your goals and objective with God's will. Seeking his guidance. Seeking his empowerment. And everything we do with effort. And sense of reverence and responsibility. Driving people to strive for personal growth and excellent in all aspects of life. We want to be excellent for certain things, but for others we don't. We want to be excellent in certain things, but we limit ourselves when we talk about excellent. And remember that there's consequences to our action. The Bible also teach you, teach us about the consequences of our action and the importance of being accountable for our decision. Galatians 6, 7 says, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. And men read what they saw. This verse brings the principle of responsibility by highlighting the direct correction between our action and the results. Hmm. And understanding this principle motivates people to make wise decisions. I want you to make wise decisions. Hmm. Persevere in your goals and take ownership of both success and failure because we're going to fail at some point. We're not perfect. It's a part of our journey to our personal goal, to our achievement. We're going to have some struggle. We're going to have some trouble in our way. But the Bible speaks of the importance of responsibility and our personal growth and, uh, and achieving the goals through our, uh, the principle of, tour, of stewardship and mutual responsibility in community, mutual responsibility, uh, responsibility before God, and recognition of the consequence, consequences of our action. Do you recognize what you have done? Accepting responsibility and aligning people with God's purpose, fostering integrity responsibility, and enable all of us to realize the potential that we have and live a life of purpose and honor that benefit all of us. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>